evening from Royal LePage Place, a packed Royal LePage Place, and the game hasn't even started yet. My name is Chase Johnston, the voice of the West Kelowna Warriors. You are listening and you are watching to Murray's Pizza. West Kelowna Warriors Hockey on Hockey TV and Mixler, powered by our friends over at London Drugs for the postseason. And it is a dandy. 3-1 series lead for the West Kelowna Warriors here in the best of seven. And the Viper is now struggling as the Warriors try to take advantage of this opportunity. And chase the foe, what a hit! And they are going to need a little more as we see a potential breakaway here for Christoph Farmer. Farmer immediately pressured, still manages to get a pass off. True to a shot, great save made by Ethan David. Probably going to see a change here for the Warriors. Some of the players just remaining on. And now we got a turnover, it's Culling. He's in all alone. Great save made by Johnny Derrick. Chase Defoe and now Tyler Crystal with his brother Andrew Crystal in attendance tonight along with the Kelowna Rockets team. I actually came out to see, say hi to me and congratulate me and uh, that meant a lot coming from a lot of those players. As Chase Defoe, an absolute rocket launcher full of sauce. And the Warriors have opened up the scoring here in game number five. It's 1-0. Zone, Barr trying to take it. He'll miss it, stealing it away. Here's Brennan Nelson, what a move, great save made. Ashton and Zackel on the back end. Winning the face off of the Warriors. Norland up the middle for Joggin. Joggin now skates it inside the Vernon Vipers end. Cross ice feed beautifully. Rukanakis a shot, rebound, they score! Well, if the Rukanakis one doesn't count, Brennan Nelson confirms it. The Warriors have taken a 2-0 lead. And Brennan Nelson leading the curtain call, so I can only imagine they're going to give him credit. Out comes Felix Trudeau now looking to add to the total. Trudeau with a beautiful move. What a pass! What a goal! Charles Alexis Legault, I'll give you one. C'est la boue! And they're making some noise out in Greater Montreal. You want Poutine with that? 3 nothing Warriors. And they have three goals on those eight shots. Aiden third again. Puck deflects right near the paint. They score, and they're going to wave it off immediately. Luke Pakalak did score, but Johnny Derrick was roughed up in the crease. You could tell that he did not have an opportunity to get into position. Um, let's just uh, go into it. Sold out crowd here for the Warriors, and they're pressuring here. Sharoon fires a shot right off the post, but Kent will hold it in. Nick Kent again, left side pass, Shaw stack. Going down is Ardenaz, wanting to block. Who's there? The puck is loose, right near the blue paint, trying to jam away at it with Shostak, he scores! Johnny Derrick thought he had it. Johnny Derrick was down, and bringing the puck loose are the Vernon Vipers, a much needed goal with 17.09 to go here in the third period. And this line of Barlevais, Trudeau, and Farmer have had a couple opportunities, just maybe getting a little too fancy. Farmer over to Trudeau, now is Trudeau shot, he scores! Felix Trudeau's ears were ringing, and he says, you want me to shoot, Chase? Is that what you want me to do? Okay. Warriors have restored the three-goal lead. It's 4-1. to one. As you said it, Chase, I was just thinking in my head, here we go, he's going to let this one rip, and he did. Beautiful goal by Trudeau. Nothing fancy there, just a nice shot on net over the blocker of the Vipers goaltender. The assistant number 28, Christoph Farmer. Time to go, 8 minutes 50 seconds. Trudeau is second from Farmer at 8.50. And Christoph Farmer as we get another shot, another goal! It's Marcus Joggin! And the Warriors are running away with round one. They've now made it 5-1. And that, ladies and gentlemen, could be the dagger. Chase, what a wonderful move by Joggin. Gets the initial shot and gets his own rebound, I believe. It's five on five right now, but the Vipers continue to pressure. And you're going to see this out of the Vipers here for the remainder of the game, down by four right now. As Aiden third of the blast, they score. Zachary Tanelli off a tip. 
As you can see, Ethan David's kind of lurking. He's going to probably come out for the extra attacker. And now the Warriors steal it just as he's going out. Tyler Crystal with a shot. Ethan David went for the dive in front and just missed. Puck wrapped around the board. It goes off a of body. There's John Evans. He has an opening. Can he get the shot off? Blocked. Second attempt. He scores! John Evans at the exclamation point. 6-2 Warriors. Warriors a sixth goal in his second of the playoffs. Scored by number 14, John Evans. The goal was unassisted at the time, 18-25. Evans is second in empty net goal. And we got another goal. At 18-25. Rhyme with a bit of a seeing eye shot from the point. Zach Rhyme just fired the shot past Ethan David afterwards. Seven to two Warriors, and Zach Rhyme scoring in front of his family, who are in attendance. David had no chance on that one. Two or three players in front of him. 10 seconds now remaining. And the fans will let you hear it on the broadcast. And we got a stoppage in play here. Or they're just going to let it go here. For the first time in six years, the West Kelowna Warriors advance past the first round of the BCHL playoffs. And we talked about it at the start of the year, Telly. This team is built to win. And this is the best team since the 2016 National Championship squad. This team, since day one, has progressively gotten better and better and better. And they continue to do so. I look forward to round two, Chase.